Now in this example, we are required to make a stock uh, a working solution or a diluted solution, and to that aim we take 6.4 milliliter of our stock solution, and uh, we have a known concentration of this stock solution. So our concentration of the stock would be 438 millimolar. And we add these 6.4 milliliters to uh, a, a, a given volume of 138. So our dilutant is 138.4 milliliter. So that is basically what we do. And we are asked to calculate the dilution factor and the concentration of the resulting solution. So how does that work? What do we know? We know that we take 6.4 milliliter of the stock and we add it to the 138.4 milliliter. And that gives us a total volume of 144.8 milliliter. So that's the total volume. And we can attribute this total volume to V2, that's our total volume here, that we have here. And our V1, of course, that was what we took out, that's the 6.4 milliliter. So we now can uh, write our famous equation, C1 V1 equals C2 V2, because that comes from the number of moles from our stock solution, N1, is the same number of moles that we put in into our diluted into the working solution N2. So that's the same thing. And what we are looking for is really this C2. So we can rearrange this equation and we get C2 equals C1 times V1 over V2. And this here would be our dilution factor or the inverse of the air dilution factor. It doesn't matter in this case. So what would be our dilution factor? It would be V1, that would be 6.4 milliliter divided by the total volume, and that was the 6.4 milliliter plus the 138.4 milliliter, so that's the 144.8 milliliter. And if we calculate that, it would give us a value of 1 over 22.6. So that's the dilution factor, 1 in 22.6, that's the dilution factor here. And all we need to do is plug in uh, the number for C1, that was 438 millimolar and we get our concentration of the working solution C2 equals, if we put this into a calculator, we get 19.4 millimolar. So that would be our concentration of the working solution. Let's quickly check that we've done it the right way round. Our working solution, this one here, is much more dilute, has a far lower concentration than our stock solution, the 438 millimolar here. So therefore, we know that we have applied the dilution factor in the right direction. I hope this makes sense and thank you for watching.